Back in 1977, when God was a teenager and I was a lot younger myself, a movie called You Light Up My Life hit the silver screen and Debbie Boone sang the lead song, You Light Up My Life. I began to think about that as we approach this new year in terms of the battle between light and darkness and the fact that Christ is the light of the world. First and foremost, in the ancient world, light was created by fire. And so when we think of Christ as the light, we need to think of the lampstand with the oil and the the wicks and the burning fire that's in the holy place. And when we think of the fire at the altar where the sacrifices were made, much of what went on around and in the temple and the tabernacle was tied to the fiery light of God's presence as well. And so Christ is the lamp and the light that burns on the very fiery altar of our hearts. And as people who love the move of the Spirit as we approach the new year, we need to realize that it's only the light that can dispel the darkness and the battle between light and darkness is going to continue. We will not eradicate that until Christ comes and defeats fully and finally the last enemy, which is death. But until then, we need to be able to sing, Jesus, you light up my life, and he needs to be able to burn deeply within us so the fiery light, that Pentecostal power, can find expression to drive back the darkness. Light and darkness are going to be in conflict till the consummation. You and I are called to light up other people's lives and may our hearts burn with the passionate, fiery love of Jesus for the sake of the glory of his name. He's king. He indeed is ruling now and he pushes back the darkness by the fiery light of his love. Let him light up your life. Have a happy new year.